So I'd like to do a quick demo of a static analysis tool for infrastructure's code called Checkoff. Um, you can see it's here at checkoff.io. And what this will do is look through infrastructure's code, things like Kubernetes manifests, Helm charts, uh, Docker files. Uh, we use it extensively on one of my contracts for Terraform uh, code. And it'll just apply best practices and, and tell you where you've, you've fallen short of the best practice. Uh, very easy to use, very quick to run, gets updated all the time. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, the easiest way to install it, uh, if you want to install it in your system, is just a pip install checkoff. Uh, it does get updated all the time, so you may want to put the dash capital U. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a Docker pull bridge crew slash checkoff because I don't like installing stuff on the system. Um, I'll just pull it down and I run it often as a Docker container. Um, a lot of the tools I use, I use Docker containers. So we'll just let this one finish downloading it and then we'll start applying it. Like I said, uh, it runs against Docker files. So that'll be the first thing we take a look at and see the types of findings it, it uh, can return. So um, let's do clear now that we got the latest. We need to do Docker run, rm tty. Um, I'm going to pass in the current directory as a work directory. And it's bridge crew slash checkoff. And uh, I'm going to give it, like I said, dash F, it's dash F and then the Docker file. And we'll see that run. And you can see it spits out results back pretty quick. Now this happened to be a very vulnerable Docker file. Uh, this is actually it in its entirety. It was just bad examples of using uh, secrets hard-coded and passed in and stuff. And we can see how the run worked here. Um, three checks passed, three failed. Uh, you see the ones that passed. You see the ones that failed. It tells you where it failed, right? This one failed because the rule is ensure the base image uses a non-latest version tag so that because latest will constantly change. Um, you have a link, a uh, ID that you can search on Bridge Crew's site. And if you have the API linked, you can go ahead and just click on the link or copy the link. Um, so it looks through for Docker best practice, Docker file best practices in this case. It also does a secret scan and it finds that there's a, uh, on this one line, there was something that looked like an AWS access key. Right, so hard coding. And it turns out in this case I was uh, deliberately. Um, I said I run this as a Docker file, but really what I do is I do run it as a Docker file, but um, I have a script that is set up to um, pull the checkoff uh, Docker image every time and then run that same command I just typed. Um, so that I don't have to type out the whole thing every time. So let's do a clear and let's take a look at a um, Kubernetes manifest. We'll do this hello world one I have sitting here. You can see I have it pull every time because it gets updated on a regular basis. And you can see there's an awful lot of data here, even for a fairly small um, uh, a small uh, Kubernetes manifest. It's only these 21 lines, uh, but it's repeated over and over. And there's all these items that passed. And I'm not expecting to read it. I don't know if it's just scrolling, but there were 68 passed checks, 19 that failed. Uh, so quite often, what we'll do on this is to do that same command, but pass it a quiet and a compact, and it'll run again. And we can see that this time it only spits out the errors, the 19 failed checks, and none of the other uh, information that it has. So it's a little bit easier to digest. Um, yeah, so that's a good one. Uh, let's do it again, a full run. Um, we can actually pass a dash D and a directory name instead of a file. You can do it on everything. This is going to pass so much, I'm going to go ahead and pass it to less so that we can see it start scrolling. 
Um, and yeah, there you see, right? It did, it found some Terraform files in this particular directory, 22 of them passed, 41 failed, right? And it tells you which file it's in, where in the file it had a problem or, or didn't have a problem when it checked, right? So this is all the stuff that passed, the stuff that failed. Um, anyway, you can see it found a lot of other Terraform stuff in here. So anyway, that's how to use Terraform. Hope that was helpful.